Uh, I reviewed a report recently conducted by Infotech Research Group. Found it uh, rather illuminating about the future of IT. And so I just thought I'd, I'd share uh, a little of what I learned in that um, trended, trending report. They looked at 970, almost uh, 1,000 decision makers in IT, uh, majority of which were, were out of the United States, about 45%, another 15% out of Canada. And then small percentages in Australia, Africa, Europe, United Kingdom, Asia, uh, Central and South America. Um, and what was looked at, what was surveyed, was the use of, of uh, IT to support the business. So a, a large percentage did say that IT was, was supporting their business, but there was some attractive uh, responders that uh, suggested that they were using IT to optimize their business. About 30% said that they were into optimization, followed by another 15% that, that spoke of IT as transformative and following a small, the smallest percentage said that their IT systems were just used to expand. Now, as I further looked into this report, the highest uh, uh, in, in industry sector was government, uh, the public sector followed, uh, that was about 20% of the responders. And uh, that was followed by financial services. That was close to 10%, a little over 10%. So, so I dug a little deeper into the financial side of that and um, saw a lot about um, quantum. Okay, so I want to talk just a little bit about that. It might be new to some of you, the term quantum, especially quantum cloud. Uh, many are probably aware that they were moving to the cloud, but quantum and cloud together bring up some interesting uh, project projections. So what I'm, what I'm saying here is that chief information officers should graduate from being record keepers to being forecasters of the probable future. Now, how is that done? Well, way back in 1979, uh, when I was fresh out of undergrad engineering, I was in the simulations and I used that to forecast. I was part of a think tank in Washington, DC, and I used a lot of simulations to uh, predict. So it was Monte Carlo simulations, various other uh, simulation models. Well, that has not gone away. That has actually expanded in the space of artificial intelligence. Okay. And even though there are risks, uh, mostly deceptive defense and, and uh, cryptography of, of cybersecurity, but there are also rewards based on uh, digital humans. Whenever I've, you know, whenever I've been asked to suggest uh, careers, for instance, for uh, students that I connect with, um, I generally say to them, you need to learn a little bit about what's going on with artificial intelligence, you know, maybe take a programming class, you know, so that you have a sense of things. Uh, I also consult. So when I consult, people ask me, who are some of the leaders in this space? Well, IBM is into the quantum space. Uh, Google has a quantum AI application. Uh, Amazon has something called Bracket that you may or may not have heard about. Of course, Microsoft Azure, that's, that's a, sort of a familiar term right now. Uh, Alibaba is in the cloud. Alibaba Cloud is another familiar brand. D-Wave, D-Wave, you may have read about. And I'll end my list with Xanadu. So what am I saying here? What am I saying here? As I said, IT professionals need to move from just record keeping to intelligent forecasting. So the, the original raw side is data. But if we are formatting properly and putting some structure around that, then it moves into an information space. And if we begin to put some intelligence on top of that, and we learn from this uh, knowledge now, I mean, this information, it, it is useful. And so that is what I call knowledge, all right? So it's evolved from, from bits, uh, to data, to information, to knowledge, all right? So what I am further suggesting is that the next leap needs to be quantum, okay? This next leap is into the space of insight data to information to, to knowledge to insight 
or bits to algorithms. All right, thank you for listening. I am Dr. Hamilton, part-time doctoral factor, uh, faculty at Capella University in the Department of Business, Technology, and Healthcare.